Okay, and welcome back. And this is the step in the Halo editing process where we actually uh, take that exported JMS file and the uh, TIFF files and create tags for them. And we create tags by opening up the uh, command prompt, navigate down to your Halo CE root directory, and just type tool and hit enter. And this will actually bring up uh, all of the uh, commands that you can use with tool. Right now we do want to uh, build bitmap tags, so we're going to select bitmaps and source directory. So we'll type in tool, bitmaps, and it's automatically going to assume that we're in the data directory. So we just need to tell it to go lower than that to levels, splinter, and bitmaps. And hit enter. And you'll notice it did give us a warning. It says a warning bitmap with greater than one bit alpha being compressed as DXT1. We actually don't want that to happen, so we'll go ahead and open up Gorilla and go to File, Open, and go into Levels, Splinter, Bitmaps, and open up Splinter underscore ground dot bitmap. Um, Tool.exe actually created all of the uh, directories, and they just mirror the directories that you created in uh, the data folder. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and if you go to show bitmaps for this tag and click on show alpha you'll notice there's nothing there to see. We want to change that so under the format section we'll drop down that drop down box and click on compressed with explicit alpha and then we'll want to go ahead and save that. We'll open our command prompt back up hit arrow up key and that'll bring up our last command and hit enter. And this time we did not get the error. The explicit alpha channel was created. Uh, so now we're good with the bitmap. We actually need to create a shader for this now. So we'll go back into Gorilla, go to File New, and then under the Group Tag drop down, go down to Shader underscore Environment. So we're going to make a new uh, shader environment for this. You're going to select OK. And for the tag for this, we're going to want this as a uh, simple under flags. And under physics, we're actually okay here because we are creating a, a level that's dirt and grass. Uh, but if you did want to uh, create a level that was ice, if you wanted a nice level, you can uh, select ice in here. And that changes the physics of the ground. So uh, when you're driving on it, uh, the warthog slides around a little bit more. Like I said, in this case, we're fine with dirt. Uh, we're going to go down to Diffuse Properties. For our base map, we're going to hit the three dots there. And under our Tags directory, we're going to go to Levels, Splinter, Bitmaps, and Splinter Ground Bitmap. And then under our Primary Detail Map Scale, we're going to want the primary detail to be around 25 to 30. And our primary detail map is actually going to be the sand or the dirt sections of the uh, map. So we are going to go under our Tags. We're going to go to Levels, 